Hey there, folks. Let's take a look at Pagan Online. So I've been wanting to try this for a while and fortunate enough to get a key to test this out. I will warn you in advance. Those of you who watch my channel know I've been having some nerve issues in my shoulder. Today is not a good day. So this might be short, might be long, depends on how much I could take, but I, I've been having a very, very painful day today, so sitting in my chair is not the most comfortable thing. But I did want to get a video out because I do want to play this. I do want to check it out. Let's take a look at the characters because we are at the character creator. So we can do the Kinga Witch. Don't know what that is. Berserker. Melee strength. Sounds good. He's got some abilities that they actually show videos for them being used. That's kind of nice. It knows what you, you know what you're getting into. Power Slam. MMB. Kabura. She's got a firearm of some sort. It's hard to make out. Dash. Pretty common. Boosh. Whirlwind. Spinning attack. Stomp. And I do like how it tells you the controls there while you're doing it. Okay, do we do we get where we can be? Anya, life leecher, ranged intelligence. Oh, oh yeah. Whip slash. That looks like fun. Spin. A single spin. I guess some sort of life drain. Vitality rush. So they all have fairly similar ability. Oh, I like that swarm. That is nice. Blood bolt. That looks um, effective. Summons a huge beating heart that explodes over a short while. Wow. Okay. So if you hit it with primary attack, it gets more powerful. That's interesting. All right, and then we've got Thor. I mean, Istok. Forceful swing. Thunder slam. Pretty much more of the same. They've all got like similar abilities, just different ways of doing them. He's got a shield. That sounds kind of fun. Space. Overpower. Hit all enemies around you and heal yourself for each enemy affected. Okay. Thunderfist. So, let's see. We've got left button, mouse button, right mouse button, middle mouse button, left shift, E space, F. Wow. Okay, that is a lot of... They all use the same key combination. Yeah, they do. Okay, so if you learn one character, you learn all the characters. So. I kind of want to try this guy. So let's, let's try this guy. The hero you choose will mark the beginning of your heroic legacy. A great line of heroes in their stories. Legends, you'll help them build. Are you sure you want to Istok to be your founding hero? Yes. There has always been darkness, endless darkness, and in that darkness there was always light. The eternal balance. Gods are the guardians of this harmony. Without the gods, there would be no balance. Without the balance, there would be no light. All right. Uh, I guess there's five gods. Sounds good. 
Every hero benefits from different attribute. Check out the details. Oh, uh, it's a belief that health potions are red because they're made with blood. That's gross. Actually, it's beetroot. <laughs> Left or right to switch hands. The fourth war of the Shroud began without warning and without mercy. Slaughter everyone! This world belongs to the Master! Okay, so do we... Oh, okay. Okay, I can still attack. Is that like a quick time event though? a reduced set of our abilities right Just now. as in the wars that came before, valiant warriors mounted their defense. Definitely have the feeling you're killing a lot of stuff. Now you know the hammer, bro. Looks like we uh, heal up much. There we go. They look bigger. That's why they look bigger. We serve the master of the shroud. He summons you back into nothingness. But I don't want to go. Only death and oblivion await you. <laughs> Wait.
Welcome to the Pantheon, the divine fortress, home to the gods. A place powerful enough to bring you back from death, hero. Yes! Yeah, Raven. Yes, you did die on that battlefield. The Pantheon is a place where the soul shards of heroes converge into one being. Neither living nor dead. An eternal hero coming down from the heavens by divine mandate. I'm sure you have many questions and all will be answered in time. But first, I need to show you something. Follow me, hero. Mm, do I know how to do that trick? This place was created yes, by the gods so they could protect us from the horrors emanating from the shroud. No, I guess I don't. For centuries, Dabog, Perun, and Velis, our gods and protectors, stood their vigil from here. They gave mankind the might to drive the demons back, watching over the world from their eternal throne. Typical old man. Scrambles on and on and there's a dragon. But now, in our most desperate hour, the eternal thrones are vacant. Oh, no. The gods kept the balance from shifting back to the demons of the Shroud, protecting all the realms of Rod from each major demonic incursion. And so it was for centuries. We do not know what happened to them. But whatever force removed the gods from our realm, it was a power of terrible magnitude. Velus, god of nature, trickster and traveler. No longer does he protect the forests. Perun, god of thunder and might. His protection and strength are no more. Dabuk, god of light and light. Didn't we skip the a shining channel? beacon of his presence has turned to darkness. Maybe this we're gonna come throne back to it. belonged to Morana, goddess of death and wisdom, but she perished long ago, and we have a danger far more urgent to deal with. This is the reality we face now, hero. The gods are gone. We must solve the mystery of their disappearance. Our fate depends on it. Depends on An it. An ancient item of great power. A weapon left to us by the gods is somewhere in the ancient Mount Igman. You must return from Pantheon to the land of the living and find it. Your quest begins through the battle gate. It will take you back to the realm of the living. Remember, you cannot stay there forever. Your soul must come back to the Pantheon and rejuvenate. R. I supposed to press R? I guess I am. Okay. Enter the fray. Where's where's the fray? I guess is this the fray? You're not really telling me what to do here. Doing nothing. Hello, game. How do I enter the fray? I'm frayless.
This is weird. And slightly awkward. Current legacy rank and on current legacy score. Gain legacy score by leveling your heroes. Hmm. How, how do I do your quest? Oh, okay. Clicking on the quest does not much to help me. R to interact. R to get out. Okay. So, oh, I'm moving around out there. Okay. Anyway, let's see what else is out here. Gear locker coming soon. Crafting. We have to do stuff to unlock the ability to do stuff. Um, this kind of reminds me of a lot of the mobile games that are out right now. Not that that's a bad thing, it just kind of reminds me of it. Lore Archive. Vendor. Okay, obviously we're supposed to do something. Punts. Huh. Cool. Lots to do. Wait a minute. If I hold it down too long, I just exit. Alright. I am clicking on the... I'm pushing every button I can. I am not sure how I enter the fray. This is not obvious to me. Look at our controls. Interact is R. Okay, so we're interacting with it. Map is M. Emotes. What kind of emotes do we have? Finger guns. All right. Battlegate, you're confusing me. It makes a very satisfying noise. But I'm not sure where the fray is that I'm supposed to join. I don't see it. I can't move in here. Can't click anything at all. Can't select anything. How play game? You need to talk to the old man again? Just having, yeah, I know, I see that. Arr. Play the campaign and other types of that. That's what I'm trying to do. Am I missing something? Is this important? I don't know what that is. Help me, Google. You're my only hope. Uh. 
I'm probably not the only person who's having this problem. Apparently I'm not. Okay, apparently we have to, there is a bug for the battle gate. So let's log out and log back in. Let's see if that gets it. So, known issue. This is supposed to solve it. It was nothing I did. I'm going to keep saying that. Okay. Ah, there we go. On the battle gate screen, you'll find a battle map and a comprehensive list of available campaigns, missions, and assassination battles. To start a battle, simply choose the map node, choose the battle button. Uh, oh, well, we didn't even have any of this crap below. Okay. So that sounds good. Let's go do that. Increasing your craftsman level. Well, oh, right, whatever. Click to continue. Whoa, here we go. I have arrived. Welcome to Igman, the greatest of mountains, a living barrier against the demons of the Shroud. The crucial Igman stronghold is being overrun by demons as we speak. If it falls, somewhere within its walls lies an artifact of great power. My hope is that it is a weapon left by the gods before they disappeared. It is up to you. To find out. You ever kind of wonder if... Our ancestors, guided by the gods themselves, built the Igman stronghold to serve as a bastion against the evils from the Shroud. Its mighty wall, the Bedum, withstood three great wars and hundreds of demonic incursions. These great artifacts, if it ever, like, just turns out to be, like, a cheese sandwich or something. My stone cudgel. Captured lightning. Would be a lightning in a bottle, maybe? Must not fall. You fell. upon the rock. Gotta get used to what to do when they're behind me. Do you feel it? Inevitability has come for you. I'm supposed to automatically pick stuff up. Guess that's not quite the way it is. Thanks for joining the fight, stranger. Usually, it is up to the Vetch Nagarda, the Igman Guard, to protect the stronghold. But at this desperate hour, even us blacksmiths must fight. Aye, lassie. A new wave of attackers. Into the fray! Wait. These barrels look hostile. Hold on, I got it, don't worry. Roar, that 
is a big axe or a big uh, hammer. I am apparently getting poisoned. Ooh. This is a lot like uh, Borderlands with all the crap it's kicking out. Stone, blackjack, gold, gold. I thought I told it to pick up everything. That was some fight. We sure smashed those uglies good. But we're far from safe. Something tells me this is the beginning of the fourth war with the Shroud. Grim times. Fourth war? Uh, either way. Thank you for your help, friend. Couldn't get it right the first three times, or they couldn't, or something Behold, happened? a portal stone, part of the heavens, made manifest. It will take you back to Pantheon, where your body and soul can rejuvenate. I shall wait for you there. She's probably gonna freak out. That, that guy, he just disappeared. So I, I just return. Guess it'll return me by default. Don't forget to get rid of the gear you don't need. Boy, some of those just fly by. The Pantheon health potions. Quick bar icon shows available potions in your inventory. Click on the icon to refill potions for a small amount of gold. Pantheon Hero Shards. Quick bar icon shows the portrait of the hero you've gathered the most hero shards for. Hovering over this will show the list of three heroes with the most shards. You can only spend so much time in the mortal realm before you have to return to Pantheon and replenish. The Hero Forge is a place where all the soul shards converge. It's the place a hero of your stature can use to prepare for battle. Okay, use the Hero Forge to view uh, all available heroes and pets. Unlock and add them to your legacy. Oh, okay, so. As you go through, you can add things. Uh, I don't have time to read. All right, so we got Anya. Interesting. Oh, I like that. How do we unlock you? You look like the blacksmith. Ah, uh, I always wanted a bear. Masha. What do you do? Oh, you're Xena. Okay. Alright, so we got two of this guy. I'm not really sure what we do here. Customization. Oh. Okay. So we gotta do stuff. Banners and titles. There's our progress. We got a gear score of 281. I wonder if that's any good. Probably not. I got a neat shield there. All right, so let's let's get out of here. Battle quick bar button instantly takes you to battle. Should you want to choose the type of battle you will be taken to, you can do so by the drop down menu and the above button. Above button. Something powerful oh, okay. is hidden in Igman. Perhaps some of the soldiers stationed there know more of its location. The defenders of Igman still need your help, hero. You should go to their aid. Yeah, see, I'm wondering if, like, they're like, there's a powerful artifact, and you go there and it's like a cheese sandwich. You've discovered the cheese sandwich of the gods. I want to look at the battle gate and see... we move forward but it doesn't look like it. it looks like we got all this to do though oh we got three in here so we have to do Anya's bravery and 
arcane craft box. And then this one, absence of the god, place of the holy, and that will take care of act one. How many acts are there? Seven? Hmm. Okay. The final death. And then there's missions and assassinations. So it looks like there's always something to keep you busy. And hey, the game seems kind of fun. We're uh, beating stuff up and knocking things around. Talk to I swing with my hammer, but strike with my will. Where'd you go? <laughs> no matter. It's good to have you here. I have a feeling these attacks are not random. In fact, I think I know why the demons are here. At the heart of Eegman's stronghold lies a seemingly endless pit. It was there since the keep was built. Most people just accept it as one of the many oddities of the place. But I know better. We blacksmiths have always known it to be the location of a mythic artifact. The cheeseburger of the gods. You there. Captain Mita Snaggerode wants to talk to you. Uh-oh. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Don't point your sword at me. Well met, friend. Since you decided to join us, we should discuss our defenses. I'm afraid these attacks are just the beginning of a full-scale invasion. Another assault so soon! My men and I will hold the eastern wall. You and Ognya head to the upper floor and stop them from striking the rear. Yes, we don't want them striking our rear. Don't point at me. Anybody ever tell you that's rude? I think I know what these beasts are after. Quickly, follow me. Blacksmith, she moves pretty good. It never goes where I want it to. It's gonna take some practice, I bet. I thought I was following you. Oh, 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 oh. We need to interact with this. Aha! These uh, dastardly pots, they may be evil. We should uh, handle that. You crack like waves upon the rock. Whales? Why would whales be cracking on rock? We can only have these crates, they're invulnerable. Can't go that way. Don't tell me where to go. Oh, wait, there's a path going this way with gold on it. Why are you green? That is a cool helmet. I hope it's a helmet. Wait. Did you, you just kill my friend? Hammer, bro. Now you know the I hammer, bro. To crack and crumble. You, you killed my friend. I don't like you. 
you must die. Hold on, I gotta get this stuff first and then I'll come talk to you. Alright, there we go. That was... <laughs> some fight. Glad you got that stink for... I think I know what they're after. Don't let them take it. Is a hardened blacksmith really going to use the word get that stink for me? There is no honor in slaughter, but it is a necessity. Okay, legacy rank. Made it through, almost through level two. Let's go back to the Pantheon, see what it tells us this time. Don't mourn your new friend yet, hero. The power of Pantheon is a mystical one, and as its champion, you serve as a beacon to the worthy souls of those who die near you. Ognia was brought back to serve just like you. Oh, well, maybe she didn't want to. She's already here. In fact, she wants to talk to you urgently. I mean, nobody really asked me. Dying was a strange experience, but waking up here is something else entirely. I still can't believe it. Sorry I wasn't of more help down there, but perhaps I can aid you in a different way. I don't think those demons attacked the stronghold by accident, nor do I think that old man sent you there without good reason. So in order to fill these, we have to, like, watch people die around us. As I said, there that does is an not bode endless well. pit in the stronghold. The secret of the pit was a tale told amongst blacksmiths for generations. Generations. The pit holds the most powerful tool to prepare us for the upcoming war. The Drivna Kutia. Drivna! Ka! Ka! I felt the Kutia was near, but I dared not hope. Hero, this could be the one thing that can turn the tide. It can also be our downfall if we don't get to it before the demons. Oh no. Quickly now, I shall accompany you to the pit. We must retrieve the Kutia. Oh God, do you move so slow, old man? This is going to take forever. Arcane craft box. Battle. Click to continue. The Kutia was given to us by the gods themselves, which means it will take powerful magic to get to it. Magic that will surely draw the attention of the demon. We have one shot at this hero. You must guard me until my chance extract the Kutia from the pit. <laughs> what is it? See? I 
begin to crack and crumble. I don't have dash yet. So I don't have all his abilities yet. Is indomitable. Well, that was handy. I put him right next to me. Now you know the hammer blow. I worked for once. Now you know the hammer bro. I begin to crack and crumble. My life is almost at its end. I'm not really sure what my priority should be here. Seems like that should be my priority. Let me out of this. My life is almost at its end. Okay, that was weird. This is looking more like Borderlands every second. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure what we're picking up. Maybe some of this is equipment we need to equip. We need to look at. We'll do that when we get back to town because, you know, we got the, the box of whatever this thing is. So, uh, wait. Oh, there we go. Well done, hero. We have it. We have the Drevna Kutia. Trials of Istak have begun. Alright, let's go back and check it out. Let's go back and check out our equipment. Potency points. Alright, let's see. Gear. Items, materials, recipes, and artifacts. We have no artifacts, no recipes, very few materials. Oh, okay. So we don't have to go to a vendor to sell stuff. Does it sort these in some way? Or is the hot? No, it doesn't. Quest? Hundred and ninety two, which is better than what we have. So let's throw that over here. So let's see, it is left control and click. Oh, okay. Two oh two, that's better than what we have. That might be why we're having so much trouble. Let's do weapons first. 132, 139, 132. That's better than what we have. Now I'll have a different like bonuses. Okay. Sell that. Alright, so this not better. Not better. I see down at the bottom over here it tells us. Replacing it will cause the changes. Minus 19 dexterity and minus a bunch of evasion bonus. Nice books. 
Not sure what we do. Oh, we can we equip tome? We can have a tome. Armor, fire resistance, armor, evasion, 11, 11. Sell that one. Is this a book? That's a ward. Oh, there's a book. This is a better book. Well, there's our, we like doubled our gear score in like two seconds. All right, so let's get all these amulets, move them down here so we can kind of compare them. All right, so that's 59, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. All right, so this is probably gonna be the best one. So let's equip this one. We go here, can we equip two? Oh, we can have two amulets. So, they all look the same. Uh, that one's got armor rating. Evasion's probably not our thing, so. All right, what are you? You are a talisman. So we're gonna crush you. You go there. What are you? Steel ward. Steel Aegeus. Aegis. Armor 69. You probably go there. That is way better than where we were. That makes way more sense. Okay. Cool. And now we got some gold. All right. Can we see? Oh, I'll go and talk to us anyway. Even though I knew it was an ignorant, actually being near the good deer, it's incredible. I've been hearing tales of it since I was a little girl. Never thought I'd see it. The Drevna Kutia was meant to aid humanity in desperate times. And times don't get more desperate. Place it on the pedestal, hero, and let's put it to good use. So we're just gonna put a box on there? I guess so. Casting costs... Crafting costs... Item costs gold. It consumes the recipe used for it, so it'll eat the recipe and the gold. Now, right-click a recipe to place it in the machine. Weapon recipe. Sturdy tools. I guess this is... being funny or something. See how that compares to the one we got. 244, it's a little better. We lose a little dexterity, which honestly, probably didn't need. So we will equip that. Burn this. Alright, interact. The legends were true! It works perfectly! Don't forget to come back here often and improve every piece of your gear if you want to stay mighty. Right. Let's go talk to the old dude and see what he has to say now because I'm thinking that's where we got to go.
The Kutia will be a great help indeed, but alas, we don't have time to admire shiny armor and sharp weapons. We must put them to use. Since the moment has come for a most deadly adventure, hero, we must find the absent gods. They are our only hope against the Shroud. You are our only hope. The Battle Gate will take you to the south, to Caradol. And from there, we shall seek out the light of Dabog, Caradol's patron deity. Okay. That sounds like a job for another day. I think we made a good introduction into this today. I don't see a lot of people playing, which is really sad, because I'm actually enjoying this and I'm having fun. It's very rewarding to hit things with your hammer. Uh, and with this particular character, I can imagine the other ones are equally rewarding to hit things with their weapons as well. Uh, you feel like you're doing something when you hit something and do something dramatic and all the corpses fly up in the air. It makes you feel like you've actually done something. Uh, I like the fact that you can carry things over to other characters as well and earn rewards for being pretty ultra in this game. Um, but like I said, when I started this, I'm not having a really good day today. So this is about all I'm going to be able to do for this one. I uh, did want to visit it, did want to check it out. I think we're going to check it out a little bit more a little later. We've got other series in works right now that we need to work on. Uh, even though, you know, they are doing things and events and stuff that we need to participate in. Uh, we'll get through those as they come. But I, I did want to visit Pagan Online and see how it was. If uh, this particular sort of game seems to appeal to you, I'll put a link to the description down below to where you can download it from Steam or believe buy it from steam if it costs money i don't remember if it does or not sorry about that i i forgot to check before i started the video i'm on a lot of medication right now anyway uh, i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed this introduction to pagan online like i said i am having a good time with this i think this is actually kind of fun so i'm going to play more because i want to find out more about the story i like the mythos that they're putting through i like the way they're handling the storyline i like building up the areas that we have to get through to uh, to make things happen. I like the whole have to return element. The missions are not very long, so they're not very... In, well, you're not going to be spending an hour setting things up to do one of the battles, and I like that. It, it's in and out and done. You play as much as you like. If you want to do ten, you can do ten. If you want to do three, you can do three. If you just want to do one, just to make a little progress. It looks like you can do that too, so I kind of like that. Anyway, that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Hope to tune in and watch. Thanks for checking me out. See ya.